Hey y'all, Rev Tommy Two Tone. And this is Rick the Village Chilidia. Where you been lately? Man, I've been around. Where you been lately? I've been a square. He's been a square and I've been around. Really, we've been pretty busy though, haven't we? Yes, we have. And now YouTube's done, stuck it to us. Yeah. And said, hey, if you got less than a thousand subscribers, you can no longer be monetized after February the 20th. So, um, no more commercials on my channels, but that's all right. They're not making right. revenue. I'm not either. That's right. But they're doing a lot of uh, small YouTube channels bad. We need to all support each other and subscribe to each other and try to help each other out and get us up to those numbers. Yes, we do. So we can stick it to them. That's right. But anyway, beside the point, we're here to do another hot sauce review, which we haven't done in a very long time. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and uh, just say it's been last year. Yeah. Without a doubt, it was last year. Without a doubt, it was last Almost year. Almost a year ago, probably. Maybe so. Yeah. So far... We well, don't even know when the last time we no, did one we don't. Was. But that's okay. We're back. We're going to try to do one and see what's <laughs> up with this one. What is this one? This was a Christmas present from my beautiful mother-in-law. This is Cafe Tequila. Hey, stop. Whoa, stop, 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 stop. You said, I mean, that is an oxymoron if I ever heard one. You said your beautiful mother-in-law. Yes. Wait a minute. That... There's a lot of levels we could approach this statement. I there is. I you know that. Mm -hmm. But I happen to know your mother-in-law. She's a beautiful woman. And I happen to know exactly what you mean by that. So there was no connotations there whatsoever. I'm just no. playing with you. But, you know, I could. we could just go we down go rabbit on. holes and rabbit holes with that statement. Yes, we I'm could. Not, I'm not going to put a Freudian... Um, Twist to it. I got gotcha. you. Go ahead. So, what what have you got there from your this was a, mother? This was I saw this in the store that she went to, and I didn't know she was getting it for me because we went in a week or two apart. But this is Cafe Tequila Roasted Habanero Hot Sauce. It is made with blue agave tequila. But let me ask you this: What is more special about that hot sauce? Is what? What, what would be a pride point of this hot sauce? The pride point for this is it's made right here in Alabama. And where in Alabama is it made? This is made in Vestavia Hills, Alabama. Which is probably about three miles from here, maybe four maybe miles. Maybe four miles yeah. max from here. Yes, yes. Let so, me read the ingredients because my mouth is already watering. Okay, do that. It is water distilled vinegar. Habanero mash, brown sugar, chili powder, salt, lemon juice from concentrate, lime juice from concentrate, onion powder, roasted garlic, chipotle pepper mash, cumin, canola oil, lemon pepper, smoked salt, cilantro, tequila, and it's got that xanthan gum in it, boy. Mmm, sounds pretty good to me. Indeed, and it is from www cafe tequila.com and um it does say refrigerate after opening and i love the bottle it's a really cool shape and we're about to open this sucker up and um i'm not with my knife because i didn't bring it did you bring one i've always got a knife it's in my work pants that's why i don't have mine on me be careful with the cap i don't want to break the uh neck on this one tom we did a good job thank you sir Boy, it's still tight. Oh, look at that. If y'all cannot see that, and I'm going to show it to you. Get up there and show them. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, that is a cool bottle. That thing has a cork, an actual cork in the top. I was not aware that I was going to need a corkscrew to Shake it up before this. you open it. I've been shaking. You don't need a corkscrew. It's not down in there. That's not you that can, hard. I know. You can pull it right off. We are going to shake this up really good. Yeah, buddy. It's like, a, it's like a daggum beaker from a science experiment. So let's hope this science experiment goes really well. Now, there really are well. some hot sauce reviewers that say you must try your hot sauce on a spoon. Yeah, well. And there are some that say you must try it on a food. But I just say try your hot sauce. I agree with that because you know what? We're gonna try we, it. We're gonna way, do yeah. it. We're gonna do it any way we want. If I review it on a spoon, I'm still gonna be eating it on food. That's so, right. Ooh, you know, man. I'm eating it on food, and anybody else can just. Okay, do I, it got it. I, don't care. I got it. I got it. Hold on, it's coming. Hmm. It is, but that gum live on TV. 
Yeah, there well, we you, go. You should be rocking it instead of twisting. I'm, it. I'm rocking. And it's got. Here we go. Oh, it's got a nice smell. Mmm. Yes, it does. It has a. Um, well, they did mm. say they used mash, so no one yes. has that fermented smell to it. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to use a whole lot. So we're putting these on just some wheat thin type crackers. Yep. I'm getting a goodly amount. It's hugging. It's not running all the way down. It's got a little runniness, but it's also got a little thickness to it. Mmm. Mmm. All right. Mmm. First thing I de oh man, that's got a nice little bite to it, right off the front, right on the tip of your tongue. I get the roasted habaneros right off the bat. I get vinegar. Oh, it's definitely vinegar. I'm not sure I got the tequila until the end of it. Mm -mm. Habaneros are definitely mm -hmm. in there and kicking on mm -hmm. the mouth. I love it. I love the habanero taste. That's, oh, that's it's got, got a, a great flavor. It I mean, does have a little bit of a smoky flavor to it as well. It does. That is a, I mean, I'm putting a goodly amount on here, folks, not just a drop. I'm coating the, the cracker here. This is a hot sauce, not a dip, but that's what we're using it for. Mm-hmm. I wanted to get a full mouth. If I did a bunch of that on a spoon, mm. I would already be hiccuping by now, folks. Mm. It is hot. I'm not going to lie to you. It's hot. That is a very good hot sauce. Once again, um, I'm mm. recording this on my iPad, so I'm probably not going to put it in the description. So I'll just go ahead and tell you www.cafetequila.com. www.cafetequila.com. And I'm sure that they can ship you some of this hot sauce. I'm not even sure the price of it. Whatever it is, it's worth it. That is very good. And the bottle size, what size? Was that Instead of time? a woozy, you get this unique little bottle, Ooh. and this is uh, 6.75 fluid ounces, so it's more than just the five ounce woozy. It is, and I'll say this, it's got a little afterburn down my throat, it's warm, but it's not unpleasant. For chili heads, you're going to be fine. For somebody that's not necessarily, this is not like your ordinary table. This is a little bit, quite a little bit hotter than that, and um but overall it's still delicious and uh i you know flavor wise i gotta go eight because really there's not much more it's just a little i mean from, i'm gonna agree with you on flavor eight's good though man eight eight is is real good. That's the heat, really good. The heat, i'm gonna give the heat about an eight too because again it's not it's not overpowering for me but for some people this may be a 10 but for me this is probably about an eight okay then for me and no, seriously um I'm going to have to give it a five. On the heat for you? Yeah, a five out of ten. But it, now, I'll say this. It is an immediate heat, and it's a good burn, good mouth burn, but that's a pleasant burn to me. It is. It's not a, an un, unpleasant burn, so I'm, that's why I'm giving it a five. Anything over a five to me is unpleasant. Right. Six gets into the unpleasant range, and that's about exactly where I want my hot sauce. See, my nose is already running a little bit. But See, I don't again, even have that. But, but I it. love hot sauce. And I love that, and I love coming back online and doing another hot sauce review for you guys. We do uh, too. Yeah, I do too. I'm glad we're and, here. And, and stay tuned for more drone videos. As the weather gets better, I will be flying uh, my different drones around and getting some shots. I do want to go to a couple of Civil War um, spots here close by to us. You know where I'm talking yes, about. Yes, absolutely. Um, one, one when I grew up, because it wasn't listed as any kind of historic place we just called it the cannonball factory that's right and and it was an abandoned place out by the creek but now it's got historical markers and a fence around it but i do plan to get the drone up and fly over the fence and that'd be great check it out that'd be wonderful um but anyway uh this has been rev tommy two-tone this is rick the village to Lydia. god bless guys and it's good to see you guys uh again and be back doing a hot sauce review we haven't done that in a while we need to try to do more yes we do life just gets in the way sometimes yeah. but we need to yeah. uh make time yes we do it's what you got to so, do people. Um, you got to make time coming to you from um somewhere in alabama my buddy rick the village to and brother i like rev. to call uh ricky ticket tabby and brother rev yeah. tommy two-tone glad to be with you talk to you later see ya bye god bless